Oh, Frankie Flowers. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, uh, we were talking about roses, giving yeah. your loved one roses for Valentine's Day, but this is beyond the rose. Yeah, here's some of the offerings that you'll see uh, throughout the city of Toronto today. Of course, uh, Loblaws brought these to us this morning, but you know, guys are always focused on cut flowers, but a lot of the times potted flowers can last a lot longer. Like your love. For, yeah, like your love. And, and an orchid, an orchid is a, is a symbol of passion. It's a symbol of prosperity. It's also a symbol of fertility. Uh, orchids can last up to several months Ooh. in terms of their bloom. They're very affordable. There's not really a premium on them at this time of the year. They, in terms of the interior decor, they have been very popular. You can't go wrong with an orchid. And even if you're going to a party this weekend, bringing an orchid to that party, the gift of giving flowers is great. Now, azaleas. It's love. You got it. And that's what it's all about. You know, yeah. just, just telling somebody that you thought of them. You know, let's not forget about your mom, your grandma. It's always nice to give flowers as well to them on Valentine's Day. Now, the azalea. And you can see the azalea right there that's yeah. in the nice hot pink. Azalea is another beautiful potted plant. Uh, it's a plant that usually grows in shade outdoors, not that particular variety, but it's one that's going to give you a beautiful color inside. And it's been a dreary winter. We need that punch of color indoors at this time of the year. Yep. Now, I love these. These guys Adorable. here. Adorable. They must oh, be like, not that expensive. And yeah. So cute. Look at that. Little two and a half inch pots. And they're just put into a little bit of a vase there. The vase itself has water centered in the bottom, so you don't have to worry about watering yeah. them. Let's say they're going to do a nice little dinner for you and your significant other. On the table, put oh. these across from each other. That there, gentlemen, that there is gold. It is gold. Serious. Now, I know gold. you probably don't know the answer to this. Do you know how much these are? Those guys are, are in the range of about six dollars at the cute. most. Really yeah. cute. Okay. And, they, and also with these guys too. They, you know, another yeah, same thing. little clanchelos. These guys are going to last a, a heck of a lot longer. Oh, yeah. They're so durable. Uh, they're actually a succulent plant, which is really cool. Uh, and these guys here can be put in terrariums after and things like that as well. So. Also, the calla lily. Calla lily, for some reason, females go wild over calla lilies. They're just very beautiful. A lot of the times you see these in bridal bouquets, uh, they can be very expensive, but just a beautiful plant that's grown by, uh, basically it's root, it's tuber that sits in dormancy, a beautiful one that's going to last you. This is like a bottle of wine. Yes. And what I mean by a bottle of wine is it's going to last for about seven up to two weeks. Okay, not and bad. And like a bottle of wine, you put it in the recycling bin thereafter. And that's you put it. In the okay, but what spot. about the little things in the middle? Don't they get on your clothes? No, nope. the no? stamen that's there. No, nope. those no. guys are not okay, stamen. Good, good. If you had a lily, yes, indeed. A lily, yes. And now when it comes to. You know, the, Dina loves tulips. Yeah, the flower For that. Every occasion, Dina will give you tulips. Does she not? She yeah. loves to. And so it, it, it's a it's a true symbol of spring. And what's neat about these guys too? Oh, I'm gonna take two bouquets there. Yep. These guys here are growing in St. Catharines. Oh. So they're grown by our friends at Pioneer. And tulips aren't that expensive. No, so so affordable. Yes. Uh, tulips, of course, as symbol of spring. These guys here uh, inside your home can go very fast, meaning that they'll bolt very fast. Did you notice when Dina gives them to you, they almost grow right? In that vase. Immediately, yes. Yeah, so when you're cutting them in the vase, you want to almost want to cut them a little bit shorter so when they do bolt, they're not mm -hmm. going to look really kind of weird. And you don't want them to droop. So don't put them in a, yeah. a room with lots of sun and lots of heat. No? Don't do that. Put them in a room that's a little bit more of a, uh, an indirect light, a shaded room that's on the cooler side. Interesting. And, and they'll last a long time. An old thought is, is that you put pennies in there. The copper would actually uh, stop them from bolting. But Does remember, it? pennies are not made from copper anymore. Oh, yeah. So, no, indeed, these guys. But once again, if you want to support local, that's the way to go. Tulips around the area right now, of, of course. And then, you know, you're just, you're potted little mini rose as well. Yeah. Another thing that's locally grown, a beautiful little addition that you can give, and it's a gift that's just going to keep on giving and giving and, and giving. giving. So, and giving. And, and, and I want to tell everybody out there, you know, there's been a lot of chatter today about uh, flowers, not flowers. Know, know your significant out there. Mm -hmm. If they love cookies, bake them cookies. Yes. If they love flowers, buy them flowers. If they love pink, make sure that you get some something pink. Just take the time to get to know them, and you'll, you'll have a great, it's not that much stress. Uh, and at the end, fake it till you make it, gentlemen. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> Yeah. Great advice, Frankie. Coming from Frankie Flowers himself. We're taking yeah. a break. Yeah. When do you need chapstick?